Alright guys, so we're back here, and yeah, I'm quite disappointed in myself. I bought the Edis pack too, the Idol Master Edis pack. Um, one of the reasons why I got it is because this collaboration is unique to the point where maybe I should put some money in there. Because, I mean, I got most of the characters, if not all, now after I do the scout too. And I don't want to be like going back into the game and then saying, hey... I, I didn't get this character and they're never bringing her back, right? So anyways, I got it, gotten it, so I got all of the Idol Master stuff and I guess just to celebrate. So anyways, if you didn't buy it already, they have this Idol Master Edis, right? She's not a real character, she's a home screen character. And you just put her here, right? I mean, I have all the Edis stuff, basically. I mean, you know, I bought all the home screen stuff and if it was somebody else, like the previous one, I didn't buy it at all. I was just like, forget it, right? But he is, I, I don't know, I just like that character. That character is new, it's unique. I, if it's Kirito or Asuna or anybody else, I just like, forget it, right? I'm just like, but he is, on the other hand, I don't know. I just kind of can't miss her, in, I guess, to sort of speak. Anyways, let me grab her. And this is the Idol Master Edis, and of course it's because I also need enough uh, premium currency to do my final scout and then grab the final Idol Master character. So I spent about roughly $50 plus tax, so around $70 maybe. Let me just find what I was looking for. Damn, my memory's getting bad. What the hell was I doing again? Alright. I was looking at Edis. I was looking for Edis. So anyways, I was saying, yeah, I got Miki already, and then I was debating if I should buy Edis, and then I didn't even get uh, Sinon from my scout, and since it's guaranteed on and I'm on the last step, so I was like, I guess I have to get it then. So anyways, here's Edis, and I guess I like her, but I didn't like buying her, I didn't like it at all, but... At least I got her. Now, now I could say, hey, I have all the Idol Master characters, right? For the first one, the second, Yuriko, Asuna. Well, not just the, the Idol Master characters, but the whole Idol Master saga. So I got like Yuriko, Asuna, um, Anna. I got Miki on the home screen. I got e Edis. I got Leafa. And I'm about to get Sinon. And we're going to get Sinon together right now. This is guaranteed, new character guaranteed on 11th roll. You better guarantee it because going all the way to step 7 sounds like BS to me. And on my other account, I got two of the Sinon, believe it or not. Two of this Sinon. And then after I did a single, the free scout, right? The free daily scout. I got Miko or Miki or Mito, right? And I'm like, is it really like this account, right? This other account that I have is destined to get it. I mean, it got pretty much everything. And I don't even need to go to step 20. So I feel like that account is like, I don't know. The developers, or I guess they they don't know that's my account. So they, you know, they're not making it hard to get stuff on that account. They know that this is my account, so they're making it hard. So I have to spend money. That's what I feel. Anyways, we're going to grab this this sin on which I guess I should be happy about and then I have fulfilled my destiny as the idol master collector I mean the other characters you can miss but idol master collaboration I'm pretty sure it only happens once in a lifetime it's like Dragon Ball right they're not gonna release another Dragon Ball character if they do it right they're, they're only gonna release it once I don't know. Alright, so there's Sinon, and that fulfills my collection. I'd even get another copy of her. That's the problem. Like, I was thinking, hey, if I go all the way to step... I don't know, step... Well, what step are we at? Step 7. I probably have some of the Imaginarium, right? 
But no, you, you don't even get any of the Magerarium. And now it looks like I need to figure out how to get the bow because I need some stuff to exchange for the bow. I think I'm out of them too. I got one of the swords there. That's interesting. So I have to play the event. And then I need to grab more of the swords to exchange for the bow. But of course, I could always do this for now. Because I have some left. But I, I'm running out of these these exchange things so i have to really be careful what i do i mean how is it possible that i spent all my all of my uh exchange points already it's ridiculous but anyways so you know there's edis we got edis and now we got on sinon so i pretty much have the entire idol master collection i didn't look at it in detail with you guys but i'll do another video for that later this video is really for um for Edis. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to level up Sinon. I'm not a big f fan of leaving my Sinon unarmed. And then I'm going to grab her bow and all that stuff. But I felt like the... the uh, I felt the rates were rid ridiculous on this one. And a little rigged in my opinion. What can, what can you do? All right, so that's Edis. Oh no, wait! I didn't show you guys the, the uh, the character, you know. You know, e this girl sounds familiar. I mean, it looks like the same person that voiced another character saying, I mean, voicing her. But where is the? E Here it is. Alright, so, there's Edis, and, yeah, I don't know what to say, I mean, she has the pink thing tie over her head, and she has, like, she, they, they, it looks like they enlarged her breasts, like, to be honest, but, you know, you're able to get this character, and just, like, so I have all of these Edis, too, right, so, I didn't want to miss out on that, look at that, I have the wedding Edis, I have, like, the crazy Edis, I have like the god, the dark god Edis. So I didn't really want to mess up and miss out on on that Edis. So, anyways, I bought it. Not too enthusiastic about it. I used to be okay with buying it. Feeling, at least I feel good, right? I felt good about buying it. But now I feel like, I feel like shit. So, but at least I got everything that I wanted. So that's a good part. All right, here it is. All right, so there's Addies. And like I was saying, it feels like they enlarge her breasts. But maybe not. I don't know. I mean, maybe it's just a color. That ah, looks the same. Or maybe not. I don't know. Well, let me know what you think. I can't really tell. But anyways, get her if you want. And she's not a character, so there's no, there's probably never going to be characters that you, that will come out. Like, you know, all the home screen stuff, there are some unique costumes and things like that. And they never made it into character, playable characters. So, that one will probably not be playable too, but, you know, you could put her on the home screen. I guess that's kind of unique. Anyways, that's all for now. That's Edis. Not a big fan of buying it, but it fulfills my need of getting to step seven and then grabbing uh, Sinon. Because if I didn't get Sinon, it would be ridiculous that I got Yuriko, I got Asuna, and I got, was that, Yuriko, Asuna, the Idol Master versions, and then I got Leafa, the Idol Master version, and then of course Anna was part of the, the uh, Free Scout. So it would be ridiculous if I didn't get Edis. I mean, I got Miki already, so it would be ridiculous if I didn't get Edis and fulfill the whole Idol Master collection, right? I mean, why would you get, like, let's say five out of six things when you could have just complete the entire collection and, you know, like, let's say have a per perfect team, even though the team is probably not going to do anything, but at least I know now and, well, at least... I know that I got all of the Idol Master stuff. Hopefully they don't come out with another one because 
I'm completely broke. If they have another character to get, I'm like, uh, I might have to just flip it and say, forget it.